so far removed from this situation, it's unreal. And I never, ever thought, never thought I would be talking about Rocco again. But here we are. I've done a lot of fucking the video cut out. I just wanted to say, I was groomed at the age of 18, and I have been so afraid to speak up about it because one time I tried to, and I was given shit, and it was scary, and at the time I wasn't equipped to deal with any of the repercussions, and ever since then I've had like this fear that no one would care out again i have shaky hands i'm nervous you know just give me a break um i really felt like no one who i mean who would believe me i don't have a platform like him i don't have fans i don't have anything on his level um i'm just another person making accusations and so i never spoke up i never spoke up but it took my friend posting that on their story him being a groomer and it really encouraged me to just come out with it Rocco Bodhi is a groomer I was groomed at the age of 18 I was a fan at 15 he messaged me waited till I was 18 I'm not saying this to cause drama stir shit nothing like that I could give a fuck about that I've always felt like I was victim number zero when it came to this I was so young so impressionable and someone rocked the mold. And I hated that. And there was a power dynamic that I didn't understand at the time. And now thinking about it makes me so mad. Because people with platforms like this don't, don't, are not held accountable. Like, why, why do we live in a world like that? I'm just so sick of hearing how shitty men abuse their platforms and date their fans like when has that ever been okay we just finally need to speak up about it i was afraid for years and i feel like i shouldn't have been because he's this is so small this is so small in my life so fuck him fuck them fuck youtubers so if you're still watching this video um you know, this has been a really fucking hard video to make um, because I have been a fan of Mega64 and Rocco um, for a long time, you know, more than 10 years. And I've been friends with Ashley uh, for almost that length of time, too. So, I just wanted to make this video just to say that um, I believe Ashley. And I support her telling her truth. Um, and I believe her allegations about Rocco and how he treated her. And I think there should be accountability. Um, I think there should be accountability for what he did. Um, I think that there's been a lot of complicated feelings um, for me in trying to talk about this because I knew about everything that had happened with the end of Ashley and Rocco's relation relationship and when the Tumblr post that Ashley made uh, came out in 2015 about Rocco cheating on her um, and she eventually took that down because of um, pressure and coercion. Um, 
you know, allegedly from Rocco and other people. Um, and it never sit right with me. Like, it, it never sat right with me at all. Um, so I, you know, I'm making this video because I care about Ashley and I care about Rocco. And I, I just don't think that, um, I, I just don't think I can stay silent about what I know from what Ashley has told me. And now that she's decided to go public about her accusations, I just felt like I needed to go public as well in solidarity with her to just make her feel like she isn't alone in someone believing her. Um, and also because I'm hoping that when people see this, they understand that I'm not making this video lightly and I just, I thought a long time about what I wanted to say and ultimately, um, ultimately, I believe in victims getting accountability um, for the people that hurt them. And even if that means the person that hurt someone is someone that I know and respect a lot. So this hasn't been um, a pleasant experience for me to keep everything bubbled up inside for six plus years. Um, and, you know, Rocco has known Ashley since she was 15, you know, and I can't imagine the pressure of someone you look up to when you're a teenager, when you're a kid, um, you know, eventually falling in love with you and all the complications that come with that and just the incredibly imbalanced power dynamic that Ashley talked about in her video. Um, yeah, it, um, it just hasn't sat right with me at all how she was treated by Rocco. Um, and yeah. From everything she's told me, um, and everything that she's shown me, I know that um, everyone has different definitions of grooming, but I do believe that Rocco groomed her. So. Yeah. And I don't know. I just, I think it's gross and wrong and, you know, I don't think creators should date their fans full stop. Um, and even if it's between two consenting adults, there's a power dynamic there that is completely imbalanced. 
and just leads to all types of awful things happening. So, yeah, I, uh, I don't really have anything else to say about this. Um, I really don't. Um, I just wanted to make this video just to reiterate um, my support for Ashley and her talking about this because it isn't fucking easy to talk about this and Yeah, I, I hope there's some sort of accountability. I, I really do. I really do. Um, that's it. That's all I have to say. All right. Thank you.